So this is the final fight of the evening session on day five in ring B. There are our judges, Armenia, Israel, Turkey, Jordan, Guatemala. Machi Jurgot of Poland, our referee. Things have finished in ring A. So let's hope for a good one here to finish off with. Said Sadri was good to watch the other day. Round one. So that goes the bell in the blue. Emerging from that blue corner, Peter Reznicek of the Czech Republic in the red. Said Mohammed Said Sadri of the Islamic Republic of Iran. And trading one twos on the inside there. Slight little grimace there from Reznicek. Looking for the right hand there, Reznicek. Just bobbing in and out of range there, said Sadri. That was a good shot with the right hand. Just took the feet in, threw that with some conviction. Just trying to dip the knees and slip onto the inside there, said Sadri. Just standing off each other here. No one really wants to commit both easily within range. Just jogging in and out with that front foot. Good jab there from Said Sadri. Right hand as well there from Said Sadri, followed by the left, and then let's go with a massive right. That didn't miss by far, and he's just looking to put it on Reznicek a bit here towards the end of round one. Again, a smearing right hand. He's going to get warned about that. As I said, he lost two points for that in the last fight he had. It's because he just bombs in with those big kind of wide arcing overhand rights. Some blood coming from the nose there of Reznicek. He throws them a lot and they are quite difficult to land with the knuckle part of the glove. There's no real bend in the elbow particularly. As I say, they're not really hooks. They're kind of Big, wide, sweeping punches. That's a good, solid right hand, and he steps in with the standing count, just clubbed him with the right and the left. He's got some heavy hands here, I would say, say it's Adri. There goes a bell at the end of the round. That very much is. Nie, 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 nie,
Second half, please. Round two. There we go again. Matthew Jew got giving him the warning for making contact with the with the palm of the glove, with the inside of the glove. It's quite light on his feet, said Sadio. That was a nice straight right hand. Found the target. Resnicek not throwing a lot. He seems. He seems a little bit nervous in there, if I'm honest. Left hand comes in. Decent jab there from Said Sadri. He's just being able to punch when he wants to punch, though, generally, because Resnicek, quite honestly, just isn't really doing anything. He's responding to Said Sadri rather than taking any kind of initiative himself. And you just see that rhythm from Said Sadri. He's just bobbing up and down on his feet. Sooner or later, he just triggers and goes. Final minute of round two. Good solid one, two from Said Tadri. I think he's going to take a point here. And again, it's for, well, slapping is the non technical term to describe it, but it's the easiest way to describe it because everybody knows exactly what I mean by that. He's making contact with the palm of the glove, the inside part of the glove. And in Aiba boxing, to land a legitimate scoring punch, you need to make contact with the knuckle part of the glove on the front of the head or the torso. That's what it's about. So the judges at ringside will not take into account punches that are not, that are not landed in that in that particular manner. And he's lost a point there, said Sadra. He lost two in his opening fight for that same thing. It didn't matter because he won convincingly. And he's winning this convincingly too, but as a habit, at some point, it is going to cost him. Nice long right hand, straight right hand. He doesn't throw too many of them. He could do with concentrating on, on throwing a few more, I think. He loves that big wide right and left. Those big kind of smearing shots. It's difficult to see how he is ever going to be able to land those with a knuckle part. When he throws a hook, he just needs to pick up his elbow more. If he picks the elbow up, then that'll turn his hand over and he'll land it with the knuckles. Oh, oh. 
Strong looking right hand there inside Sadri. Reznicek is just, he's just boxing to get through the rounds here basically. And after the point deduction, the point deduction has given him a chance. He's not really showing any ambition at all. Big left hand, and in jumps Machi Jur got with the standing count. Now, that was a properly delivered hook. That's what I was talking about. And that just stiffened Reznicek. And the ref was really quick in there. Good bit of refereeing that. Right hand, strong right hand, and another standing count. He doesn't really want any more of this resonant check. I think that's fairly obvious, and I'll be interested to see what, what the referee does. And he does exactly the right thing, which is stop the fight, because resonant check never really looked that interested, to be honest. I don't want to be too critical. It's, uh, it's a harsh arena in there, and so Sadri is uh, a pretty big puncher by the look of it, but he, he just never really looked like he wanted to be there, and he got hit with a left hook. That was one standing count, hit with a nice straight right hand, another standing count. The referee, as he's counting, is having a good look at the fighter and he's holding his gloves up, saying that he wants to continue, but he doesn't really. And experienced referees, experienced officials, they know the difference between someone who is saying they do when actually they don't. You get to read the, the distress signals and that's what he did there. So ladies and gentlemen, the winner by RSC in the third round from the red corner Syed Mohammad Syed Sadar Ardabili Iran so Syed Mohammad Syed Sadri of the Islamic Republic of Iran he goes through and he will face Ramazan Dadaev in the quarterfinals good fighter strong puncher he's just got to stop dropping points for hitting people with the with the palm of the glove for slapping, basically, because against somebody like Dadiev, as he moves into the quarterfinals, this is the World Championships. You can't be dropping points like that as you move up the levels because it will cost you at some point. There's just no doubt about that. But he was far too much uh, for Petr Reznicek. So that brings to a close the evening session in Ring B. Um, been another good day of action. Great to get a first look at, at Gorbatenko at heavyweight. Was impressed with him. Felimon was good again. Dadaev didn't have to do all that much, really, because Emir Bayukdad couldn't keep his gum shield in his mouth. So the heavyweights maybe didn't deliver quite to the extent that we, that we might have expected them to. But it's been another good day of action. Please do join us again tomorrow.